I've had a few of you ask me about action sequence photos and how to put them together. First, you have to have your camera set on a tripod and make sure that you do not move the camera when you're taking the photo sequence. It's just going to be like using burst mode, uh, taking pictures of a moving subject, and you're going to start as soon as they're in the frame and keep taking pictures until they've left the frame. Okay, so you could end up with as many as probably 10 shots. Um, once you have your pictures, you're going to go ahead and just put them in a file by, their, by themselves and um, you're going to use a photo program that has a um, copy and paste option in the editing. And what I use is Microsoft Digital Image Suite 2006. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Now I've got four photos here of an eagle flying out of a tree and I'm going to take all four of these images and put them together into one image. Now what I'm going to do is use my control button and highlight all four pictures. And I'm going to go up to my toolbar and hit edit and it's going to take it to the editing portion of the software. Now you're going to want one as the control image, and that's usually going to be your first image. So I'm going to use this as my control, and then I'll paste the rest of the photos in with this. So I've got the control image. I'll go to my second image. I'm going to go up to my freehand tool. I'm going to come down, and I'm going to trace around the portion that I want to copy, which is the eagle. I'll hit copy. Go back to my control image. Hit paste. Click off the side of the object to get rid of the box. Go to my third image. Again, with my freehand tool, trace around the object and usually I'll get a little bit of the um, background with the object because if it's all done on a tripod and there's no there's not a whole lot of relative movement behind the object then it's not really gonna you know it's not gonna really matter much it's all gonna line up so I'll hit copy go back to my control image paste Go to my last image and the freehand tool again. And anytime that you're on like the border of the picture, you always want to start there. And I'll click there and then I'll see how you can just you can move off just a little bit, but you can put it right back on the edge of the photo border. Click again and then hold down on the mouse and you can freehand around it and once it lines up let go of the mouse copy go back to my control image and paste and there it is that's all four images in one image and when you go to close it it's going to ask you if you want to save it you're going to say yes I want to save it And when you go to close the rest of your images, you're not going to want to really save that because you're not using the cutout portions or anything anymore. So you just close them out, no. And then when you go back to your main control image, there it is. It's all put together in one shot. And you can go in there and edit. You know, you can change your colors and everything around now, and it's going to it's going to change everything. 
it's going to change everything in the picture. It's not going to change just the control image. It's going to change everything now because it's all blended into one image. So that's basically the easiest way to do this type of a shot um, or this type of a photo without a, without a lot of uh, painstaking detail and stuff that you'd go through with most photo programs.